Hey, morning YouTube, real quick here. We got a few tractors that we need to bring over here. It's like zero degrees right now. We need to get that 8420 in that planter into my uncle's shop because they're coming to put an insecticide system on it. The back door of the shed is blocked by snow. The last time we plugged this block heater in, the connection there where it goes to the block started sparking like a hot like flame spark. So we, Derek, pulled it out because this thing was about to catch on fire, who knows? And I gotta try to start this thing. If it doesn't, we have a backup plan, but we're gonna see what happens. Plus it might be kind of an epic cold start, but I'm about 95% sure it's not gonna go. This thing's been sitting for several weeks. Gave up on me. Oh well. I hate doing that. I had, had to try. Okay, I was persistent. I couldn't help but try again. I knew it was gonna go. So I let her buck. We got her. Yeah, she's not very happy. Sorry, girl. T ready to go back into cool storage. I got all the snow moved. So we're gonna grab Elio. He did a fantastic job getting that hood waxed up. I'll show you up closer when we get it parked inside. Ooh, it's kind of starting to flurry. Off we go. What's going on, Elio? Not much. Just put away a tractor, that's pretty much it. Looks good. Yeah, so so. Remember this hood, everybody? It's all faded. Nice and smooth. Why do you suppose a backhoe is right up by the house? What would you rather do on February 4th on the morning when it's about 10 degrees out? Look at this little nice mess we got going on. We're gonna dig this up and uh, we're gonna see what's going on now. That's what we're doing here in the frozen tundra of Iowa. Jordan down there found the root of the problem. Nice little hole in the T here. Black. Looks like off it. the hydrant. I can undo the plant. It's coming in. Off. And then yeah. it might be easier. Adam here is getting some parts. Some water. Mine coming out of the casing over to a T. T goes into the house. Another line comes over here. You can't see, but it goes there. You get the gist. Don't forget. This is two, four. 22. Adam B. Ellen was here to witness it. There it is, proof in the pudding. Hydrant's in, T's fixed, everything's all ready to settle in. Look at that. Hole. Oh. Leaking at the top of the ground. We're stripping down toolboxes and organizing, throwing trash away, cleaning up a little bit. You can see it's pretty messy. Mustard, I don't know, it's working on some fenders. Yep, trying to get that knocked out. Badger's working on a chrome pipe for seven, seven day hundo. I, I, I keep it a secret. Oh. So here's the fender situation. Devin's been rigging up. With all this nice stuff back here, we wanna make sure we don't kick up any dirt and rocks into our pump and reel and filters and all that good stuff. The fun topic, 4020. We put that new muffler on and we noticed it was leaking some oil. Bucky came to conclusion that the injectors are bad. So we're replacing injectors on that. Ain't that right, Bucky? for the 
this trailer. Getting some stuff prepped up about to weld. Basically this fender's gonna cover all this area you see here. So we have a nice, good platform to step up onto when you gotta fuel the trailer up. We got the silver toolbox out. We got this area cleaned up. I hate cleaning. It gets so messy before it gets clean, but that's just the way it goes. Got this bench cleared off. We got two tall cabinets coming. We're gonna re hopefully replace all this with that. What are you doing, big dog? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Progress in the shop. Sorting some wrenches. Sorting the box. Trying to sort some stuff. I like this. Some small pins and grease zerks, some hose clamp supplies. We got all these wrench sets, nice and organized in here. Obviously we have our main ones in there, but it's nice to always have backup. And we got this wall cleaned. Benches, still a mess. Shops, still a complete disaster, but slowly but surely, we're making progress. What is the honey graduate's progress? He is cutting off the staff. Nice big old chrome pipe on there. It's John Deere and chrome. It's the best combination there is. Wowzer. Next up, polished job. Wood console inside, should be ready to go. Got rubber bushings on here for movement. These brackets were over to here. Just added on to there. Here we are, original mocking up of stainless steel tank. Just got it here to check some mounting bracket situations. Stay tuned. Got to get some beans out of this bin. And the auger's froze. But the hitch is froze in the stand. So the fun of storing beans in the wintertime on a bin site that you don't use very often and then you got to move snow spent two hours just getting the auger freed. hitch on there and I'm just pushing I'm gonna push ever so gently on the auger which is gonna slide all the way off to the end maybe I'm all right push on it ever so slightly maybe it'll catch on a little crevice on the blade all for storing beans they said yeah they'll be 15 bucks well we lucked out I don't think this happens any other year good morning everybody it's a fantastic morning here in central Iowa first thing on the docket this morning I'm gonna to try to start this 8420 because as I mentioned before this old dinosaur as we call it she's getting a little upgrade it's getting a FMC sponsored thrive insecticide system so they're gonna put this on and basically how it works it's free install free product all we have to do is we are committed to buying the insecticide and fungicide products for three years. So the reason we did this is because we grow seed corn and a particular company we grow for requires insecticide when planting. We gotta get this tractor over to my uncle's shop. I don't think we'll be taking it over today. Elio's still finishing up on the 8400, but I'm just gonna see if this thing starts. It's been plugged in overnight. Uh, I just wanna check to see if the batteries are dead or anything like that. Good job, buddy. A little 
fuel trailer update for you today. Like you saw in the last video, we got the pump finally going. In the last week here, I've been working on building some fenders so we can protect the pump and all that from getting mudded up going down the road and in the field. Be the driver's side pretty much done. I just gotta finish welding some seams right along there. And I gotta finish welding my edge that I put on the side here. They look pretty bulky when you look at it from the front. I mean, there's some nice big fenders, big flat platform, so that eventually I'm gonna build a step. You have a nice place to walk on when you're filling the tank up. Got some new wheels and tires. I gotta do the same thing on this side. Haven't quite got started in it. Just wanna get the other side finished, welded up, so that side's completely done. Then I can turn the tank around and start working on this side. side is done just finished welding up all the final seams and everything not too shabby all welded up nice and solid eventually I'll have to clean it all up and get ready to paint but before I do that I'm gonna get the other side built so I can do that all at once so I'm gonna flip this tray around so I have more room to work start fabbing up the other side well, ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing Honey Badger's favorite thing in the world, hauling beans in February. He loves it. We just ran the auger. We got all the cruddy beans out. We're going to go over to a bin site and get this set up. Try to get 2020 loaded up today. Woohoo! All hooked up. Mandy Peak going back in. Off we go. Just a few miles down the road. Not too bad. Here we are. Here's the culprit. The warm weather is nice, but the mud. I get kind of annoying, I guess. Came in here quick just to check them out. Make sure there's no snow or crust. Looks pretty good. load of beans done we just love beans they look pretty good really though old tires are coming off got some nice new shiny wheels to put on there those fenders those things are mean nice platform stand on there keep all the slop off the pump and off the pickup pulling in front so working on side two over here I'm not, Devin is. He's a master welder in the house, so I've lost my, I've stole my plenty, uh, my fair share of dimes in the day, so it's time for Devin to steal some dimes. How are his dimes looking? Wow. What do you gotta say for yourself stealing dimes like that? You feel ashamed of yourself or are you proud of yourself? Could be better. Have any dimes left in your pockets or used them all up here on the welder? Oh, is that is that your phone? Is your phone ringing? No, I don't is it the U.S. Treasury calling you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Another well, honey badger dad joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Another day, another nickel. I'm gonna fire up 2020. Take those beans down to the elevator. Yeah, you heard me. I'm not taking them to the processor. I'm not driving all the way to Des Moines. I'm not driving all the way up to Isle Falls. I'm going. 10 miles down the road to the elevator. If you're a farmer, you understand. Why are you taking beans to the elevator? Aren't the processors paying that much better? Well, the market's a little crazy right now, and uh, unfortunately, I don't wanna go to Des Moines, wait in long, long lines, or Iowa Falls, 
So we're gonna go to the elevator, a lot closer. It doesn't feel like a burden to go down there. And we got a really good price, so I'm not gonna complain. I can't take it back. I'm leave it. but surely that was exhilarating got started on this other side yesterday just kind of got the frame the shell kind of done so you can see here this is kind of what it looks like before I put the tread plate on I got it got it framed out the way I want so you got have a piece of tread plate sloped down here cover the top got a nice frame to step on then when I get the big piece on top, across here, I'll put some bracing from here to the edge. Then I will put another piece in the middle here, in between here and the tires, so slop and mud and stuff doesn't get up all in there. It'll all be sealed off. Hopefully it comes out similar to the other side, as you can see. That's what it looks like there. And this side will actually be a little narrower because the tank actually doesn't sit on the center of the trailer. It's kind of offset this way, so this side will be a little shorter. Got to finish cutting some tread plate, fitting it up, and get some stuff well lit on there. successfully extracted the bolts well okay this one I'll save this one for you guys for the test we're putting new thermostats and uh, gaskets on there they're right there the gasket was all geeked up glued on it was leaking so I was told whenever you replace thermostats on the 4020 just put this spacer that goes from the head to the sample there kind of buffers between there and the head so naturally I pop these bolts loose and uh this one and that one there twist it off luckily there was quite a bit still sticking up on this you know the part that broke off so i welded a nut to the stud that was basically sticking out and uh, that one popped right out so let's see what this one does Feels pretty good, feel promising. Look at there, come right out. Two for two, good deal. There it goes, just like that. Now, if that didn't work, we'd have been, well, we had to grind it down flat, and then you center punch a hole, drill it, try to extract it, or drill it out and tap it. So, luckily, we got, we got lucky, we put some new bolts in her. And uh, they're just, I guess, just rusty over the years. Need some coolant down there and making it rust. We'll clean them up and uh, 
to put this thing back together. I thought we'd have to wait a day. I'd have to go back to work and get some more tools, but got lucky.